Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sharaq Hi, welcome to Afghan Cooks. I'm the Afghan who cooks and I haven't really been cooking all that often. And if you all have watched some of my shorts, you know why. Um, we have been super busy with uh, helping Afghan refugees. We started a foundation called the Komuk Foundation. Um, we'll put a link to it below so you can see all of the great activities that people have been doing. I wanna, I wanna thank all of you, my subscribers, viewers, friends, family, for helping out, for donating, for being involved. Um, it's a really huge endeavor. One of the reasons why I started Afghan Cooks was because I wanted to share with you the stories of Afghanistan from an Afghan um, and to know that Afghanistan is more than just war. And I'm feeling like it's even more relevant right now. Uh, you're seeing a lot of Afghanistan in the news again. And one of the neat things I think is that because of social media, because of things like YouTube, you all have the opportunity to know an Afghan, to know somebody uh, and to learn about their food and their culture and their history and their heritage. So thank you so much for joining. If you like, please remember to subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, hit that like button and hit the bell notification so you'll know next time I make a video. Today I am making an Afghan salad. Um, I am going to tell you what's in an Afghan salad. What's not in an Afghan salad is most things. I talk excessively about salad. There's almost nothing in an Afghan salad, but what is essential is this lemon juice, salt, and industrial size bag of mint, okay? If you want to be Afghan and make Afghan salads, get yourself an industrial size bag of mint. Have it on hand. I also have here a little bag of dill, just because it's nice to kind of throw it in the salad, adds a little vibrancy to it. What else is in an Afghan salad? You know, onion. I have one clove of garlic here. You can use either jarred, bottled lemon juice or fresh lemons. I have some fresh mint here too, although we don't really use a ton of fresh mint, but I'm gonna add it to this salad today. I have some green onion here. You know, it was funny when they had that salad, salad place that opened up called Chopped, and people were like, oh my God, I want a chopped salad. Oh, chopped salad. I'm like, oh, what kind of salad do you eat? Like a big salad? I'm going to talk excessively about salad for a moment, okay? There are two kinds of salad in Afghanistan. There's kushni salata, which is a chopped salad. It means, kushni means small and there's rasha salata, which means big. There are different instances where you have different things. Sometimes if you have a platter of kebab, for example, you'll have rasha salata with it. So you'll have your kebab and your bread, your bread, and then you'll have like a big piece of green onion or whatever, you'll put your kebab in it, you'll put your big piece of bread, in, onion, onion in it, you'll fold it up and you'll eat it like that, right? Same, you'll have maybe some lettuce or a tomato, and it'll be big, and the salad is used like you would on a hamburger right? So it's a big salad. When you are having a meal, you will have a kushni salata, right? We don't have like an in-between size salad where they're like these kind of middle size chunks that we have in American salads. It must be diced, little tiny bite-sized pieces so that you can have a little bit with your rice, cuts through some of the heaviness, some of the fat of your food, okay? This salad is essential. We don't have any olive oil in the salad, okay? There's no salad dressing on the salad. It is just the essentials of goodness and health in this salad. It is like our one nod to, okay, we'll, we'll eat some vegetables today, okay? So let's make the salad. I have a very large knife right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel our onion, I'm gonna cut the ends off. I have here some tiny little tomatoes. They're super delicious, but very annoying to cut. But it'll help you if you can see how small. I'm cutting in half. And then in fours, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna transfer the tomatoes to a bowl. I have a half of an English cucumber. Feel free to use whatever you got. We will usually just peel a little bit of it, some stripes. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Here's the way that the Afghan ladies do it. Now, I think I've mentioned, and you guys have heard me say that people make fun of me for using a cutting board. but I like cutting boards because I like my fingers. And I'm not very good at this. But if you're good at it, kids don't try this at home. If you're good at it, you can do this and all of your cucumbers will, slices will come out evenly. Or you can do it the safe way, which is Now, 
Now we're going to use some green onion. Add that to the bowl. And I'm going to take just a small amount and you want to dice them really fine, okay? Garlic. I'm going to grab my garlic press. And now that's it. Yeah, we're going to throw some dill in there. And now there's some dried mint, which is essential. It is not an Afghan salad unless you put dried mint in it. If it's got mint and lemon juice, it's an Afghan salad. Put that in there. A good heaping portion of salt. A little swish of pepper. I don't know what the actual number is. And finally, the lemon juice. Stir that up. Zama khudas is ready like a Afghanistan. That means my heart is as big as all of Afghanistan. This salad has so much flavor. I mean, think about it. That chopped place made gazillions of dollars basically off an Afghan salad. It's fantastic. You should make it. It literally takes five minutes. You don't need anything fancy. You'll be happy. It'll brighten up anything that you do. You don't need a lot of fat. Make it. Thank you for joining us on this amazing episode of Afghan Cooks. I'm going to eat my salad. Can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.